Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome back to a very short video. I wanted to show you guys how to save your bases on your server or your private game. Now, just so you guys know, you have to be an admin on the server you want to save your POIs, otherwise it will not work. So basically this is what you need to do. You need to press F1, you need to type in DM and then enter. Once that's done, you should have access to the saving POI, but I like to put in CM as well, just to make sure I've got everything available what you want to do is you want to press Q go up into the sky now there's two ways to do this I'm going to show you my way and then I'm going to show you the other way okay so my way is I would go to any corner so maybe this corner over here and then I would press Z once and then I would hold Z and then move as I go and then that way I can try and get the whole area Get the whole base, so I don't know, depending on what how, how big your base is, you just have to cover the whole base like this. Now, the other way of doing it is you can go to the corner, press Z once, and then go to the other corner, and then press Z again, and that should cover the whole area as well. So you can try and do it that way. Okay, so now you have the problem of just having that part saved. You want to save the entire base. So what you need to do is you need to hold Shift and G at the same time. When you do that, you can see this thing is displayed. You should see little squares at the end of them. Now, if you just hold G, it'll bring up another one. This is to actually move the box you've cre you have created up and down. But you want to do is hold Shift G, and then that way you can make the box bigger. So that way, if your base is really tall, you'll make this higher. If it's uh, so, my base is about that height. If it's you have to go underground as well. So if your base is deep, you have to hold Shift G. And then go down, down, down until you've got the entire base. Just make sure that uh, you've got everything. Uh, in this case, I've got a very long tunnel that goes down that way, but let's just ignore that for the purpose of the video. Once you've done that, you should have the base done. What you want to do now, in the previously, you would press K and a menu would open up and you would save it like that. But now, it has changed to pressing Escape. And now you want to say is Export Prefab and then you want to come up with a name so bunker base whatever you want to name it as and then save locally it'll bring up this thing on the side and it's now saved your base is saved now if you want to get rid of the uh, the blue stuff just press the backspace button that's how you do that so once it's saved now you want to create a copy of it so first of all just to make sure it's saved you're going to press exit you're going to go to your editing tools and then your, your level prefab editor just open that up. Okay, that is now opened up. So what you want to do now is press escape. And at the very top right of your screen, the debug tools, you want to click on this icon over here. It is called prefab browser. And then you want to go down to the search menu here. And then you're going to type in what you just saved, which is called mine is called bunker base. And there it is bunker base. Click on that, load it. Uh, let's just discard changes and there you have it guys the base is now saved now I'm going to show you how to put it in a file and send it to your friends Okay, so log out your game go to the windows and go to down the bottom and type in run Okay, click on that and then you're going to type in exactly this Percent app data percent. Okay, that's what you're going to type in. you're going to press ok Once that opens up then you're going to go to your seven days to die folder and then you're going to go to the local prefabs. Bam. So this is all your custom stuff that you have saved. Just ignore RJ sexy base. We, we, we know about that. <laughs> anyway, so this is the bunker base I have saved. Now for order you, for order you want to keep it and save it, you want to go and you want to copy, well, um, highlight the whole control and highlight all of those ones that has bunker base in it. Just take them all. And then what you want to do is just make a copy. Close that. And then just paste it here. Okay. And now you want to turn that into an zip file. And there you have it. This is the folder you want to send to your friends. If they want to take your base and they want to use it, you have to send them this zip file. Not what's inside, only the whole zip file. And then what they need to do when they get it, they need to go to their app data, which is, you know, go to your run. And they need to go to their seven days to die local prefabs and put it in here and it should work if that doesn't work Then I recommend going to this PC 
and then into your programs and then down to Steam. Uh, Steam apps, common, seven days to die, your data, and then prefabs. And you can also put it in here and it may work this way as well. So just try both and see what works for you. But either way, it should work. Once you've done that, you can go in the game and just follow the process that I did in the beginning and you can load it into your game. Anyway, guys, I hope this video helped you. A lot of people were asking me how to do this, and at least now you know how to do this. And if you want to send me a base, please feel free to do so, and then I'll do videos on them. Once again, we used to do this in the past, but at least we all know how to do it now. So you guys can send me as much base as you want. The only way to do this will be through Discord. And well, yeah, so join that if you haven't already, and we will see you guys in the next video. Bye, everybody.